Hey, Psych2Goers. Is it the highs of the honeymoon period wearing off? Or maybe you're about to begin a new relationship? You're bound to wonder, and you are sure to ponder. Wow, did that just rhyme? Anyways, where, oh, yes. Is your partner the one? And no, you're not alone. It's only natural for one to have second thoughts when you think about the long run. You were in love, and that can make it hard for you to see why you two don't work as a we anymore. It can even occur way down the road when you're beginning to settle in for the ride that is life. It can be emotionally jarring to even contemplate a breakup as you may still love the person. But when the realization that you don't have a future together sets in, it's all the more important to make the right decision. Here are seven signs they are not the one. Number one, they want you to change. Have they made a list of things they would like to change about you? If any such list exists, even in imagination, chances are they're not the one for you. It said love changes one for the better, but if that change has to be enforced rather than a gradual naturalness, it sure does leave something to be desired. Everyone wants to be loved and appreciated. The right partner should bring out the best in you, not change the very you of you. If they're not comfortable with the funny, awkward, clumsy, real you, it calls for some serious review. Number two, you can't count on them. Are you a go-getter? In this day and age, self-reliance comes with the territory, but at the end of the day, it feels good to know your partner's got your back. As adults, you each have your own path to tread. Still, you look for a partner you can rely on in times when your path is not so smooth. It's difficult to find motivation sometimes, and it makes all the difference to know that the one beside you is cheering you on. So it does beg the question, will they be there for you when you need them the most? Number three, you have different values. Do they revere the same things as you? Now it is surely difficult for two individuals to have completely the same taste. But when it comes to the big questions, it's essential to be facing the same direction at least. It's difficult to stay on the same road if the destination isn't the same, right? Relationship experts recommend discussing major topics such as finances, intimacy, and others thoroughly and openly from the get-go as they may become a major deal breaker later on. If the two of you don't see eye to eye on things regarding marriage or kids, for example, it will only break your heart the longer you wait for them to come around to your ideals or for you to turn to theirs. If your priorities don't match, chances are they won't allow you to match either. Number four, they can hear, but not listen. Does it seem like you're the only one making compromises? Do you have a hard time getting them to understand your perspective? Communication is to a relationship what sunshine is to a flower. It's important for the ones in a relationship to read their partner's emotions as well. They should show a willingness to work on the relationship together. Conflicts are a given for every couple, but it's important to have all hands on deck and work towards a solution. If it takes all your effort to get the two of you on the same page, it's possible they're not emotionally available. Brushing things under the rug is only a temporary solution. For the long term, your partner should not only look out for your needs as well, but be willing to meet you halfway in all the efforts you put in. Number five, your intuition. What does your gut feeling say about them? Are you constantly feeling like something is off? One of the first red flags in any relationship is when you begin to question your relationship with them. You have this gut feeling that something's just not right. Maybe you've already envisioned that sparkling rock or maybe you've already picked that flowing mesh of white, but the thought of the right one gives you pause. Whatever you feel for them is overshadowed by a sense of foreboding. Number six, they are fond of you statements. We're always late because of you. You don't ever care how I feel. Is your partner always quick to criticize? As witnessed, couples are more likely to engage in complaining behavior than most others, right? But. Is it constructive or corrosive criticism? They leave you feeling hurt and rejected by using even honest mistakes to make negative judgments about you. They always find a way to blame you for the smallest inconvenience without even hearing your side of the story. Psychologist John Gottman, who has analyzed couples for over four decades now, found that repeated critiques berating another person's intentions can soon cause relationships to derail. On top of that, expressions of contempt 
such as sarcasm on a daily basis can make it difficult for the couple to lead the life they always dreamed of. And number seven, your close ones can tell. Has your best friend been telling you to stop seeing them? Do your closest family members feel like the two of you don't match? It's very true that it is your life and you should get to make all the major decisions, but often your close ones can see what you fail to realize way before you do. Your friends and family are the ones who have spent the longest time with you. They're sure to know more about you and are always on the lookout for you. So if they recommend you revisit your decision, there might be something that struck them as odd. It's wise to understand where they're coming from before striking them out as being too nosy. It is highly possible for you to encounter such situations in even the most long-standing of relationship. Does that mean you're with the wrong one? Not at all. Every couple is unique. There are good days and then there are bad days. If you can observe these scenarios occurring sparingly in response to particular events, they're bound to go away with time. But if you see a pattern forming too often, it might be time for you to have a little talk to figure things out. For serious relationship issues, we fully recommend seeking out a trained professional. Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching.